Hidden in the silent corners of the monastery in Strasbourg, a man with a penetrating gaze and profound wisdom imparted his teachings to a group of devoted students. This man was Meister Eckhart, a mystic and philosopher who challenged the conventional norms of his time and explored the boundaries of spiritual knowledge. Born in the year 1260 in a small village in southern Germany, Eckhart grew up in a world of intellectual fervor and religious zeal. From an early age, he displayed exceptional intelligence and a deep curiosity about spiritual matters. He was sent to the Dominican monastery in Erfurt, where he began his religious education. As he progressed in his religious training, Eckhart showed an inclination toward philosophy and theology and soon stood out as an exceptional orator and thinker. His teachings captured the attention of scholars and students alike, and his fame began to grow. On his path toward priesthood and teaching, Eckhart was appointed prior of the Dominican convent in Strasbourg. It was there that his teachings became more radical and provocative. Eckhart advocated for a unique form of mysticism that emphasized the direct pursuit of God through personal experience and spiritual illumination. In his sermons and writings, Meister Eckhart explored the nature of God and the relationship between the individual and the divine. He argued that the human soul had the capacity to unite directly with God, transcending the conventions of the church and traditional religious practices. His teachings often revolved around the idea that one could find God in the deepest recesses of their own being. His teachings went beyond the written words in religious texts and the doctrines of the church. Eckhart believed that the ultimate truth of existence could be directly experienced by each individual, without the need for religious intermediaries or rituals. For him, the experience of God was a living reality accessible through personal contemplation and enlightenment. In his sermons, Eckhart spoke about the importance of nothingness or detachment, ideas that initially appeared paradoxical. He argued that liberating oneself from worldly attachments and preconceived notions was essential to open the mind and spirit to divine experience. By leaving behind earthly concerns and limited conceptions of God, one could approach an understanding of the divine. Eckhart also emphasized the importance of the divine spark present in every human being. He believed that within each soul resided a part of divinity itself, a spark seeking union with God. This idea bore resemblance to the philosophy of Gnosis held by ancient Gnostics, who asserted that direct knowledge of the divine was essential for salvation. In his teachings, Meister Eckhart used parables and metaphors to illustrate his points. He told stories about the soul as a mirror that needed to be cleansed of impurities to reflect divine light or compared the spiritual journey to the gestation of a child in the mother's womb, where the soul developed and was nurtured in silence before being born into the fullness of union with God. However, these bold and radical ideas led him to confront the ecclesiastical hierarchy. The authorities of the Catholic Church were concerned about the implications of Eckhart's teachings and the potential heresies that could arise from them. In 1326, Eckhart was summoned to Rome to respond to accusations of heresy. Despite his defense, some of his statements were condemned by the Church, and he was asked to retract some of his ideas. Eckhart returned to Germany and continued to preach and write, albeit with caution. He passed away in 1328, leaving a profound philosophical and mystical legacy that influenced later thinkers and the development of Christian mysticism. Meister Eckhart challenged the conventions of his time and opened new doors to a deeper and more personal spirituality. His emphasis on the direct experience of God and the union of the soul with the divine remains a source of inspiration for those seeking a deeper connection with the transcendent. His story serves as a reminder of the courage and vision of those who venture beyond established boundaries in the pursuit of spiritual truth. Thank you very much for watching this video. Did you like this story? Leave it in the comments. If you liked it, please subscribe and like to support our channel. Until next time.